Hey guys and welcome back to the new upload. So this video will be completely different because we're not gonna work in England, in London, but we will work in Latvia, in Riga. Why here and why now? Because I just came for holidays in Latvia for one month and I decide why should I not try one of our local food courier apps. Bold food what is? It is recently app I think what came out because recently when I've been coming here for the holidays I never see it and yeah general who know who don't know but I am coming from Latvia so I've been born in here and everything so it's nice to be back home try something different of course I just came here for one month so of course soon you will see the other uploads back in London in this video of course you will see how much you can earn in bold food is it worth off little bit we're gonna compare with the England and uh, more or less yeah just give you a rough idea and deeper view how does it look like to work in latvia for bold food some of you might ask me yeah bro but how do you are planning to work because your bicycle is still in london i think i have something in my mind big shout out for the ride mobility for offering this scooter for me this will be scooter slash bicycle what we're gonna use today for the work and bigger review i will tell you after once we're gonna start working with it and yeah the maximum speed of this machine is 25 kilometers it's electric and it's able to rent in latvia just for city tour like uh, exploring the city and also for the work so let's get on it first so how we start our ride we just click start ride we're unlocking our rider yep we sit on it <laughs> so how you can see we do parking off oh. <laughs> and we start riding with it so look at this guys it's completely better than this <laughs> bicycle by electric no offense to my other team <laughs> but yeah it's just much better comfortable seat it's really enjoyable right now <laughs> so let's show you max speed right now so with this machine you can ride wherever you want to be honest on the pavement on the road it's allowed everywhere but yeah now we're gonna get closer to the central where we're gonna start our orders because at this at this area where i'm right now the orders is not coming so much and uh, yeah we will get closer to the central and then we get a login and try our ball food plus they have a <coughs> really strong signal if something <laughs> run front of you or something happen you are always able to signal finally we arrive we will go online and we are on so now we are searching for the orders once we will get the first order i will update you and show you how does it look like so i just spoke with the police in latvian so i asked them if i'm able driving out town with this thing because i don't want to get some penalty for breaking some rules but no they told me it's all fine they don't find these things so it's kind of cool you know you can drive wherever you want literally or it's all town or it's at the pavement but i guess while you're taking like care of the other people on the streets other pedestrians how they say yeah while you take care everything's fine yep guys we get our first order so let's check we are here restaurant is here pick up 10 minutes can we do this of course yes we're gonna pick up and now we're gonna go and do our delivery so of course this is the first order I will show you from the start to the end. So once we are on, we look where we have to drive. Of course people use navigation, I already know my town. I, I should say I know my city well, <laughs> so it will be not a big problem for me. We 
arrived at the place. We put parking, our leg out. Look how easy and simple, no one will steal it. You click on pause, lock it by himself, and we're going inside, pick up order. Paolo. Yep, guys, no elevator, I guess. We have to carry on. <laughs> so we delivered our first order, guys. And you see, for the safety, I will hide a lot of things here. But yeah, we finish. And this order is done. Now we can just go for the new one. So about this order we made. It's pending. So for this order we made 2 euros and 58 For now guys I feel like I should better focus on the road more than I was <laughs> And yeah I will update you later How it's going So, evening finish. It's 10 o'clock right now, 10 p.m. So we've been working exactly 13 hours. And the uh, most important part, I guess, <laughs> we made 100 euros. But 100 euros in 13 hours, I think it's not a lot. And if we split, that means per hour we've been making 7 euros with something. Is it a lot? You tell me. But anyway, see you tomorrow guys I think because I will do a one week challenge I have a feeling. I just want to see how much money I can earn by working seven days in the uh, in a row. But yeah, I have a feeling this will be a, like a not challenge video but like more just to testing myself how much I can earn in the one week with bold food. But yeah guys, then see you tomorrow because I'm going to sleep. Good morning guys and welcome back to the day two. Oh yeah, morning starts. It's not so cold outside. I'm a bit tired from yesterday because we we did we done yesterday really a lot of hours. We've been working and my sleep was not the perfect one. But yeah. Let's see what we can expect from today and I will update you later. The things what I don't like with the bolt is that you cannot see where you're delivering your items. So if you pick up the order, you are not able to see where you are going. So system is literally the same like Uber Eats. <laughs> I feel like it's proper Uber Eats thing, you know. And they also have this little issue with the bonus system, which is a bit weird. I can't really talk too deeply about this thing because I still did not discover how does it work. Speaking about orders, yeah, I've just been waiting such a long time now again. So it's not coming a lot of orders also. And yeah, you know with the bold food, what I also know, like bold food work almost the same like Uber Eats. And I think they still have a, so much to 
learn in this business both food and uber eats you know we know both of these companies just of taxi reason right we've been ordering the taxi to take us from a to b point but we never order really for the food reasons right so yeah both food and uber eats have literally the same thing they both are good at the taxi company like you know the way how they offer the services in taxi but for food they still have to learn so much things because i feel like if both food have this thing you know where you can see where you're delivering the item and also they could save the time just show straight away how much you get for that order before you're accepting so let's say order come in and it shows straight away it's three euros or four euros like would you like to accept you know it could be completely different thing instead of you just deliver the item and then you just mysterious price have you know so those are things that i think they should upgrade it i guess and maybe company could be better than it is right now so hey guys so we done the last order we will probably finish now it's up pretty late again 10 pm we done today 28 orders and we done 76 if you can see 20 76 euros and 75 pence cents <laughs> and then i guess maybe see you tomorrow wednesday welcome back guys today free today is the wednesday it's the first september today a lot of people going back to school including my sister so that's why we start this uh, today day a bit later now it's 11 o'clock in the morning and yeah today is back to the school so people are going back to the school you know for university college whatever and uh, i feel like there will be much much more orders now so today there is a lot of bonuses i should say but there is not bonuses but like minimum for each drop from now till 2 30 it will be three euros and then from 4 till 10 it will be three euros 80 i think something like that so yeah we will see how our day will treat us today i have a good feeling all right i'm not gonna lie i don't know what i what to expect today because i have feeling it will be less orders compared with other days but it's hard to tell you know speaking about the scooter today it was a bit funny so i booked my scooter i arrived to the location but i was not able to find it and then i saw there was a reconstruction happening and there was a gate and then when i tried to ask the security guard like is there any scooters he told me nope and I just explained him, all right, then in that case I have to call support team and they will put the penalty because if you don't use the scooter and you don't pay for it, you cannot put inside with private gates or anything like that. Long story short, like security guard told me there is no scooter, nothing. And once I start telling him, you know what, for me it's fine, I already paid for it. It's just a guy, whoever done this, he will get a big penalty. Guy was like, no, all right, there is one guy who came with it, but i don't know all right just take it and i was like all right so you try to be sneaky but yeah it is what it is at least we have a scooter now and we can start our work so yeah guys nothing too much to talk right now i guess i will update you later if something interesting is happening and for now ciao hey guys so little update we just finished work right now and we are heading home so we made today 77 euros I think not so bad but I was expecting a bit more to be honest. The day was a bit quiet just because of the school. People going back to the school and the weather was really amazing so after school they probably was enjoying time and going outside together instead of ordering from home. But yeah, today's shift is over and I guess I will head to home right now and tomorrow is the new day you know. So see you tomorrow. Good morning guys and welcome back. Today is Thursday and we are continuing our work. We start pretty late today. I am grateful today because weather is really nice. It's sunny, maybe right now you cannot see it, but it was a couple of seconds ago. But yeah, just got the bike and it's time to ride with the bold foot. Hey guys, so a little evening update. So right now it's nine o'clock. We finish our work right now because I did not see any orders coming now. 
and I felt like I deserve some day off and some rest right now. So we finished with 58 euros today. Not a lot, but just because we started really pretty late today. So it was not really crazy busy day, but tomorrow is Friday. I expect tomorrow really a big day. So let's see how it's gonna be tomorrow. And let's see what tomorrow will bring us on the table. See ya. Hey guys, so welcome back, it's Friday. Uh, we started today 11.30, now we are in Old Town. So, and we got the, our first order from, from Central Tirgus. So let's go and do our order. Just want to let you know guys, yeah, we're still doing our deliveries. It's 8 o'clock and 16, and look what I got. This one, the only one for the ride bike, which is white. And it's look like this. And yeah, this is the only one what they have. White edition, I should say. And look how he, look how does it work. Look how nice. I think this is one of the best <laughs> what they have. I guess that's why they have one of them only. But yeah. Let's continue our orders. Houston, we had the problem. Big rain. And... Ghetto Pietro. Uh, I guess, guys, we have to work. I really don't wanna, but... I don't wanna wait, it's gonna be long rain, so... Now or never. So, yeah. Working in the rain and especially nighttime and heavy rain. I'm not the one of the biggest fans right now. Also, the company is a bastard because they're not even paying some extra bonus right now. So they could at least put some fee higher or something saying, I don't know, minimum per drop, four euros or something, but nope. So, and I have a feeling the rain getting stronger and stronger. But let's see. This is job of delivery, guys. In such a bad conditions like right now, we're doing deliveries. These our customers is expecting from us all the 100. So you know, when you sit at home in this rainy day and you're ordering food from those delivery apps, and it's heavy rain outside, you know what? You have, you should tip your rider. And the reason why, because they are in this crazy cold rain, driving around just for your kebab or burger. I hope really guys, whoever is watching this video right now, in the future when you see heavy rain like this, and you're ordering food, make sure you at least give one euro or one pound, depend what currency you have, but something legit. At least tip your rider. So he can dry his clothes at home at least. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I will give you update later, guys. So evening update. So we just finished 39 order and we are heading home right now because I have a feeling there will be again a big rain. And this time I really don't want to be outside again. Science it's been like twice or three times heavy rain, <laughs> but yeah, we're going home now. So we made today 101 euro and 81 cent. It's fine, I guess, you know, you, we reach that 100 again. And uh, yeah, I just feel tired right now and cold and wet. So I will be more happy if I will be faster home right now. Yeah, now I'm going home and see you tomorrow, guys. See ya. Good morning, it's Saturday, so all day will be raining today. So now is 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. right now. So we have a really great rain cover right now, like a raincoat. Uh, not gonna be able to show you, I think, but something like this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to right now to pick up our bike. Today the minimum per drop, they said at least on Telegram group, they said there will be three euros for each drop. So no more two euro 
dropped. But yeah, I will give you update later, guys, around the middle of the day. So this stage, peace. So hey guys, so it's raining again, how you can see. And yeah, we're gonna finish work today because I cannot handle this anymore. <laughs> It's cold and I'm wet again and I feel like it's enough for me. <laughs> we done nice six days. So before we get into numbers, I would like to say one more time thank you to the Ride Mobility for giving this machine to me. I will give eight of the ten. It's really great for driving. Is it best for the food courier job? I'm not really sure yet. It's doing the job what I expecting from it. So all those things is good. Could be a faster a bit, but I guess there, there's nothing what the company can do about it. It's a great thing to ride with. <laughs> it's really comfortable, that's for sure. So about subscription, how I already said, there's three types of subscriptions. One is the week daily, one is weekly, one is monthly. If you are doing this for food courier job, then uh, you should consider having the daily one science that will be the best one for you uh, about the price I guess could they could make cheaper a bit but let's leave this to them but I feel like yeah they could make it cheaper because 20 euros is a bit expensive it's not really expensive but at the same time it is and uh, I think there will be much more people interested in this if they drop the price at least for 15 euros per day or something like that but that's my opinion overall i like this one uh, i would like to even get one for myself in england but <laughs> sadly in england by law it's not they don't allow you drive with these ones because they will call this in moped category and yeah guys now i guess you was waiting for this moment about the numbers you probably want to know how much you can earn in Latvia working six days for bold food and I will give you a number just in the sec when I will get a little bit more protected from the rain <laughs> so about the number guys so it will be really difficult for me show you my app how much I earn because they are putting there how much you get in cash and how much you get in your card it's basically difficult to it's difficult to explain but it's really hard to check on the app how much I really earn but I've been calculating on separate so overall for the six days working with bold food in Latvia we done 168 orders and in money wise it is 465 euros and 81 cents so that's our total earnings during the six days how you know some of days i've been really working hard and some of days i took some little cheeky break and little rest what can i say about bold food companies still have to work on it company have to the company should less focus on getting new riders but more focusing on the riders what they have right now because when it's too much riders and not too many orders people cannot really make a lot of money if you get me I know it's really hard to compare, you know, what is happening in England and what is happening in Latvia. It's two completely different countries, population and everything. But I feel like they could at least maximize a little bit more earnings. In this case, really, if they cannot provide people with so many orders, they should at least maximize a little bit with the earnings and put some extra, extra coins for the orders because for them it was minimum orders two euros but pretty often i was being paid and i think it's really be low to be honest but again that's only my opinion so guys yeah don't really like listen crazy what i'm saying it's just my opinion what i'm saying for someone else it's still a money and how i said yeah everyone it's a free world <laughs> if you like this you do if you don't like don't do you know but overall, should I recommend people work with ball food? Uh, check your situation first, I guess. Uh, if you feel like you would like to ride around some days working from the early hours, like 11, 12 and working till 10 p.m. If you like this, go for it. Remember, there's weather conditions also. Not always it's sunny days and everything. Most of the time it's rainy days and I have even feeling I made a little bit more money just because it was most of the days rainy 
I think when it's sunny days, you kind of cannot really earn so much, I think. That's it, I guess, for now, guys. And yeah, by the way, while I was doing this uh, video, I don't know, episode, series, however you want to call it, I've been uh, accepted uh, with uh, Volt. Volt is completely different food courier company in Latvia also. Uh, and I will do one more video where I will work with them. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a whole week thing, but 100% I will do one day working with the Volt. So yeah, people who is usually watching me, me doing deliveries in London, I will be really soon back. On the 1st of October, I will be back in London. So I will maybe one, two weeks extra and I will start doing the videos there. So don't worry, <laughs> I will be back soon. And people who is new for the channel, be welcome to subscribe channel. And also if you have any questions about anything about this series or other things, be always welcome to comment below. I answered every single comment. If you like the video and everything, then please put thumb if you can see my thumb in this night. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the video, put thumb up. And guys, see you really soon. So take care, drive safe. And see you in the other video. Bye.